Hi, and welcome to Rapid Start Services and Dynamics Nav. When setting up a company in Microsoft Dynamics Nav, a lot of the setup tasks are repetitive. Instead of performing all of these setup tasks manually, we can use Rapid Start Services in order to facilitate the setup. So what is Rapid Start Services? Rapid Start Services helps you gain an overview of the setup process of your new company by providing you with an Excel spreadsheet in which you can set up the tables often involved in the configuration process of the new company. There are four steps that you must complete in order to start using the system. Step one, create your company. Step two, review the setup tables. Step three, import the setup package. And step four, apply the package. In step one of getting started with NAV, we will set up your company profile, which will include your company details, such as name, address, and logo, and your phone number. I've currently set up a company called Swift Dynamics SMB. I'd like to note there are areas of Dynamics NAV that you will have to set up manually. These include adding users, setting up accounting periods, and setting up dimensions for business intelligence. Step two of getting started with Dynamics Nav is to make sure that you are assigned the Rapid Start Service Implementator role to ensure an easy setup process. Once you finish migrating your data, you can always change your profile to the appropriate role. I'm just going to show you the chart of accounts in the system. And as you can see, there's no data in the system. We will provide you with an Excel configuration package to get started. We have different types of packages based on your business needs. For the purpose of this demo, I've created a simple configuration package that contains payment terms, the GL account, customers, and vendors. I just want to remind you that these fields might be different based on your business requirements. You can request a blank spreadsheet or a spreadsheet filled with some demo data. I would recommend that you get the spreadsheet filled in with some information. That way you can see how Dynamics Nav Demo System has structured their data. I also want to point out for certain tables, such as tables that will contain master data, you can specify a template to apply the data. The template can include the required fields that you want to apply to all the master data and that you never want to vary. For example, you can create a template that can be used with customer data. The template can contain all the required fields, which then will enable consistent import of standardized information. In the Payments Terms tab, I'll add a new payment term by filling out the appropriate field. So I'm going to create a 60-day payment term. The code will be 60 days. The due date calculation will be 60D. The discount percentage will be zero. I'll call it 60 days and the calculator the calculation for payment discount on credit memos will be false. Um, in this field in NAV, this is a checkbox field, and because I said false, the field won't be ticked off. I'm going to save the file, and I, will port, and I will import the file into Dynamics NAV. Which brings me to step three, importing the package. Because I'm in the Rapid Start Service Implementator role, I can import the package by clicking on Packages in the navigation pane. You can see that I have the small business package here, and you can also see that this package contains four tables. If you click on the package, here are the tables that were in our Excel spreadsheet. Here are the number of fields available, and here are the number of fields included in the package. As you can see, there are more fields available versus what's included in our package. In the Excel tab, click on Import from Excel and attach the save package. Just give it a second to load all of our Excel data. Last but not least, you have step four, which requires you to apply the package and to make sure that everything was implemented correctly. To determine whether you have introduced potential errors, this can occur when you do not include tables that your configuration relies on. In the Action tab, click on the Function Groups and choose Validate Package. Give it a second to make sure that everything is working fine and the fields are mapping to the correct fields in NAV. 
And as you can see, the data was validated. If you go into number package records, you can see the fields that we created in Excel are here now. These get mapped to fields that are in dynamic snap. Once you make sure all of your data is correct, click on apply package in the ribbon. It's going to import all our information from Excel and put everything into Dynamics Nav. We'll just take a couple seconds. So they've processed all our data and they have found zero errors. So if we were to look at, for example, our payment terms, here's all the information that we've entered in our Excel spreadsheet. And here's the 60 day payment term that's now been added into NAV. If I also look at the chart of accounts, here's all the information that I've entered in the chart of accounts from Excel. And now you can see that this package has no more records in it. Most importantly, Rapid Start Services helps you as a customer prepare the company with default setup data that you can fine tune and customize. When you use Rapid Start Services, you can configure and migrate existing customer data, such as a list of customers or items into the new company. You're able to use Rapid Start Services at any time. For example, if, you're, if you've acquired a new company and you need to upload a database of new customers. And that concludes Rapid Start Services in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.